Welcome back to Alliance's Heroes, where heroes in business align. To be part of our super community and find out more about Alliance's, visit www.alliances.com. Now, back to our super host, David Kogan, founder of Alliance's. Holy cow, what a incredible lineup it's been today. And it just keeps getting better and better and better and better. I mean, we started off the show with the incredible CEO, founder of Laserfish. He grew his company to a $100 million software company, Laserfish.com. And, well, we had the CEO of P.F. Chang's Bistro. I mean, we're talking $1.1 billion in sales. I mean, 20,000 employees. How do they do that? Well, that's why you listen to the show. And we just had on the NASA scientist, astrophysicist, and Science Channel TV show host, uh, Hakeem Olusheyi. I mean, just amazing, amazing. But uh, we're going to learn really so much about unlocking some of the secrets within. And our next host really knows how to do that. She is an amazing tool to be able to help with that. Have you ever wondered what keeps you from finding yourself in the same situations? You don't seem to be where you maybe really fit in. You want to know more about why the way you are. And how do you improve on the strengths that you have that you may not know that you have? Well, that's what our next hero knows. Better probably than most everyone, Cynthia Deal. She is with RiseStrengths.com. Once again, that's RiseStrengths.com. She's a strengths coach who is a certified in the Gallup Strengths Finder. So, Cynthia, let's go ahead. Let's jump right into it. You know, you've seen you've been you've seen so many results from people. What is what the most common personality or strength type is? The most common one is achiever. Achiever, and why do you think that is? Um, I think worldwide, I think people have very vivid and. Um, aspirations and goals and i think they they want to achieve that they they're go-getters and by the way she's talking about these test results from gallup not just from her her providing those but this is like overall and this is worldwide too of what it is yes it is worldwide and what's the least that someone has the least common strength or theme that somebody will carry worldwide is command command and, and why do you think that is um, I think people shy away from their brilliance, and I don't think they know how to step into that. And so I think um, that is why probably command is the least common strength. So tell me why you're so popular and why so many people use your services as a strengths finder coach. I mean, that's very unique. We have coaches in a variety of different areas. But for you to be able to issue the Gallup test and then help them work on their strengths, further developing in that, how does that all work? Um, I think the it's probably my target market is why that is. And I work with junior high, high school, and college students. And it really, it, when they see how it empowers them and it builds their confidence, um, it builds them to be able to have amazing communication skills. Um, when, and when their friends see that and when the parents see that, it's just, it's very contagious. And it's like, I want that. Now, Cynthia, I have attended one of your sessions where you had, a, I mean, packed room, a people amazed by the results of their test. Uh, and I think most importantly, maybe not so much surprised of the results of the test, but what they can do to further enhance it. And what I learned most, too, is, is the way that possibly the negative part could be associated with the way that they are. Can you kind of talk just briefly about maybe the elevator and the basement of one of the strengths? Sure. Um, so Gallup has a document that's called Balcony and Basement Document, and all 34 themes or strengths have adjectives that describe that when you're um, in the zone and you're really functioning at your very best in that particular strength, uh, they're very positive adjectives. And then if we have stressors that come along, um, then that particular strength has not so very nice um, adjectives that describe it. So an example would be of command. Let's take that for an example. Command, uh, you're a risk taker, you're a go-getter, um, you can stay very focused on task, but if you were to meet any kind of stressors, um, you can potentially come across as being um, rude, arrogant, poor listener, and these are things that we have to take a look at because 
these are actually people's potential perceptions of how they could potentially perceive you. So it's really important um, to really take a look at that and be honest about it. And we're speaking with Cynthia Deal, who could be reached at risestrengths.com. Now, she is a strengths coach. She's a Gallup-certified strengths coach entrepreneur, so you definitely need to go to her website, risestrengths.com. I mean, while her main focus is working with junior high and working with high school and college students, I got to tell you, I took the test, and it opened up a, just a lot, really areas, very interesting. It, it applied to everybody. In fact, Cynthia, this should be mandatory in every single school because the more that people know about themselves, right, the more that they can improve, not just the way that people perceive them or the way that someone thinks that they are, but this really helps uncover who they are. Yes, it really does. It gives the kids, and to your point, David, also adult-wise, corporate organizations, this tool is used on just about any level. There's, It's also in a lot of um, uh, the religious, so it's across the board, it's everywhere, and uh I think when you tap into what your top five strengths are and you and you take a look at them, it kind of it's like, oh my gosh, somebody actually understands me. I feel validated in this. But what happens is if you don't discover what those top five strengths are, you don't know how to really utilize them to their fullest potential. Absolutely. And you're listening to the Alliances Hero Show. Be a hero with me, David Kogan. Go to where entrepreneurs align and be part of the community. That's alliances.com, E-L-I-A-N-C-E-S.com. So whether you're a mentor, you're a startup, you're an investor, celebrity, entrepreneur, CEO, or that, make sure you go to alliances.com. This is the place where businesses get built, people learn, invest, and it's just, it's across the board. We have mentors there, grant writers, and so on. Alliances.com, that's E L I A N. CES.com because guess what? You may see Cynthia at one of our many experiences because she's part of Alliances. In fact, Cynthia, maybe you describe what it's like for you to be part of it. You come to periodically our uh, r- private roundtables. I mean, people flock to you. When you first came to, I remember going, God, Gallup and things you were offering to help the community off the hook. Alliances is an amazing community. It is probably one of the most authentic uh groups, business groups that I've been in before, and everyone is so genuine, and they're so real, and they're so willing to help and invest in you as an entrepreneur, and it has been, it, it's been a wonderful experience. There, I, again, I can't tell you enough the support that I've gotten from, from being in the Alliance group. Now, with all of the test results that you've captured, and all the people that you've worked with from junior high, high school, college students to really help unlock them plus all of the adults and stuff share with us two to three secrets of what you see of those that have been most successful because you've analyzed you've worked with people who are you know a students to those that are f students that have taken the test and turned around and become a students what do you see are two to three of those secrets of unlocking the secrets of unlocking is being intentional about learning what your top five are. It's not enough to take the assessment and just find out what those top five strengths are, but you have to be intentional about big, digging really deep into them and learning what is this really saying about me and how can I really utilize that particular strength to get to the end goal. And last, Cynthia, can the um, things that we're good at change over time if we take this if we took the Gallup poll when we were in junior high versus high school and college, do those change? Can they? That's a great question. Typically, with all the research that Gallup has done, they won't change that much. Um, with life circumstances, um, you know, big shifts that you've had in your life over the years, they might shift a little bit, but um, they're not going to shift that much. Well, Cynthia, you help people find the right path, and you yourself are a trailblazer in achieving your own heights. Rise Strengths. Go to risestrengths.com. Cynthia Deal, you're a hero. This is David Kogan with Alliances. You have been listening to Alliances Heroes, where heroes in business align. Alliances is the destination for entrepreneurs, investors, CEOs, inventors, leaders, celebrities, and startups. 
To present your superpower, visit www.alliances.com. 